Jimmy. Thank you to all of the media for joining us here for this amazing night. It's always fun to be in the fight capital of the world, even more fun when you have a spectacular spectacle on tap like we do this weekend. All right, let's get it started. I'm gonna have, I have the honor of uh, asking a few questions first and then we'll of course open things up to the members of the media who joined us here today. Let's start it off with the Senator, Mr. Manny Pacquiao. You've done this a time or two in your career. Started boxing at 12 years old, now you're 40. Here in this arena for the 15th time. Does this ever get old? <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, in terms, I'm just gonna move your mic. In terms of, uh, you, you've done this before, but you've never done it in front of a Fox audience. What does it mean for you to be here fighting in front of this new Fox audience? In order to uh, fight in Pax, uh, uh, this is my first time I think uh, to fight in Pax, uh, covered by Pax, and to all the, the, the fans, uh, thank you so much. For Keith, you're an undefeated champion. You fought on big stages in big fights, but never won quite this big. What has this experience been like for you thus far? Oh, it's been tremendous thus far, and the experience isn't over, you know. Um, I'm looking forward to the fight. I'm looking forward to the final moment when my hand is raised. And, you know, it's just been a build-up. It's been a progression my whole uh, career, being an undefeated champion. You know, I remember when I struggled um, as an interim champion, and then I first had the regular title, WBA, that Manny holds now, and now I'm a super champion, uh, fighting a legend back here at the M Street Grand Beautiful Arena, Las Vegas. I mean, it's just a beautiful time, a beautiful moment in boxing, and I'm happy to be here. A beautiful time, but it, things have kind of gotten a little personal throughout this fight camp. I think, uh, Manny, some things were said by Keith that you've not been happy with. He said he plans to retire you, that he's not going to let a little bunny rabbit beat him. He said he's going to crucify you. Has this gotten personal? For me, nothing is personal. I have, to, uh, I have to, uh, to do my job, and I have personal, you know, uh, nothing personal with him. But uh, in our job as a, as a fighter, um, it's kind of uh, you have to prove something, and then I have to prove something also. And that's why I'm so motivated for this fight, uh, for this training camp. We did a lot, so I'm excited for Saturday. What do you want to prove specifically? Well, everything. Um, the question mark, big question mark to the fans, the, the mind of the fans, so uh, but especially at the age of 40. Keith, when you've said those things, were they genuine or was it simply head games, trying to get under his skin? I mean, it's simple, man. I'm a fighter. You know, Manny Pacquiao is tremendous. He's a legend. He's accomplished so many great things in the sport. Most boxers that they've accomplished, half the things Manny Pacquiao accomplished, they still have a successful careers. But, you know, I'm not here to hug Manny Pacquiao. I'm not here to pat him on the back. You know, I'm here to fight him. And so for me, it just puts me in the fight mode when I let him know, he, you know, he ain't gonna do nothing. With them low T-Rex arms, he's about to get, you know, beat up. I get to punch a senator in the face. You know, he's gonna feel it. And if he's upset about it, you know, he can do something about a Saturday night. It's called swing, 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 baby. Manny, I don't think I've ever seen you make facial expressions quite like that during the response of an opponent. What's, what do you say to that? I'm just uh, always smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> Not on fight night. <laughs> do you have a reply to that? What do you, I mean, I don't think anybody's ever told you you had a T-Rex on. Well, um, I mean, um, it's easy to say, but uh, I don't know if uh, it's easy to, to do it in the ring. Uh, you know me, I've been I've been this <laughs> sport more than two, uh, two decades, so my experience will uh, prove it. Fair enough. Well, this card is action-packed top to bottom. Let's move on to our co-feature. Omar Figueroa Jr. will take on your Dennis Ugas. Two guys with powerful punches. Omar, let's start with you because uh, you're fighting this fight at welterweight, 147 pounds. Have you given up at 140? Given up making weight, that is. Uh, no, but I feel great at 147. The weight cut has been as I mean, easy uh, as it was for Guerrero. Uh, 
So I was able to focus on maintaining my body healthy instead of trying to cut the weight and all that. So honestly, at the end of the day, that's, that's what matters. If I'm not healthy, I'm not able to fight. And um, I get paid to fight, so I'm here to make money. Most definitely. You're Dennis, I know you weren't happy uh, with how things went in your fight against Sean Porter. Will you be looking to end things early and not let this one go to the judges, given what happened in that fight? Bueno, sí, el sábado pienso salir lo más decisivo posible. Eh, las cosas, los jueces, no me, no me gusta hablar de los jueces, ya eso pasó. Estamos enfocados en el sábado. Y el sábado sabemos que tenemos que tomar la, la justicia por nuestra mano. No quiero salir en esta lucha. No quiero decir nada malo sobre los jueces. Ellos hacen su trabajo y eso ya está en el pasado. Pero voy a salir listo para esta lucha y que los jueces o quien sea que haga esta lucha. Next up, it's Sergey Lipinets who will take on John Molina Jr. over the years. Is it a disadvantage having your opponent uh, to have a trainer that you know so well and that knows you so well? No, I, I've been not. Um, I've been doing this a long time, and what you saw between me and Joe is nothing but respect. And he knows that it's a respect issue, man to man. Um, what we're going to do Saturday night is business. And uh, it's nothing personal. And in this fight game, we're all professionals. Nothing personal, it's just business. But um, again, like I said, it was a, a sign of respect. Sergey, your team has said that you plan uh, to prepare for another retirement party, alluding to the fact that Lamont Peterson retired after your last fight. Uh, how do you intend to do that? And, and do you believe that will actually happen with a powerful guy like John Molina Jr. So Мы готовились очень хорошо, тщательно, тяжело, тяжелые тренировки проходили. Поэтому мы сделаем все для победы, и я сделаю все для победы. Постараюсь э, завершить этот э, вечер бокса красивым, красиво, как смогу. What John is going to do, we, we're going to do what we're supposed to do, and uh, it was a big build-up for that fight, and uh, we really, really work on everything possible angle that might happen in that ring, and uh, hopefully that, that that evening is going to end up in a way where everybody's going to be cheering for both of us. Well, no doubt it's going to be a, a very a very compelling fight, and also it's going to be tough to choose fight of the night because all of these are action-packed. Speaking of action-packed. Let's go to our, our fight that's going to open the card. Luis Neri, your second fight in the United States, your second Fox pay-per-view. Congratulations on that. <laughs> Do you feel pressure because you're coming into this on a 10 knockout streak? Those streaks are great, but oftentimes they come with the pressure to keep them going. Given the way uh, your opponent was knocked out two fights ago by a top 10, uh, pound for pound top 10 guy, do you feel the pressure to get the knockout in this one as a measuring stick? Bueno, no, este, todos los peleadores son diferentes. Que la haya noqueado eh, y no fue en un round, no quiere decir que también lo tenga que noquear en un round. Puede ser el segundo, tercero, cuarto, no lo sé. Pero siempre el invicto es un, es un peso que uno tiene encima por, por el récord. Y más en una cartelera tan grande como es Paquiao Truman, es un gran... Más que nada me siento feliz de, que, de estar en esta cartelera con ellos dos. First of all, it's a pleasure to be on this big uh, fight night here on Fox Pay Per View. Uh, I'm very happy that my second fight here is also on Fox pay-per-view. And in regards to uh, Bayano, uh, all fighters are different. I mean, um, you know, he knocked him down in the first round. That doesn't mean, you know, I'm going to knock him down in the first round. It might be the second or the fourth. But um, I, I don't feel the pressure. No, it's always a pressure. He has to maintain the record. The yo, the zero, no losses. But uh, uh, I'm just going to go out there and fight. Excellent. Juan Carlos. You're early in your career, you're, you were known as Baby Pacquiao. Now you're sitting on a stage with Manny Pacquiao. What is this experience like for you, and how do you plan to make it your night? Primeramente, agradecerle a Dios, a Fox Sport, a Geno, por esta oportunidad de estar aquí presente en una cartelera de mi gran ídolo Pacquiao. Hasta ahora me siento muy eh, airoso, con ganas de, de demostrar 
que puedo seguir y puedo conseguir una victoria más también ante este gran peleador como lo es Luis Neri. Se sí, conozco su trayectoria, buena experiencia, tremendo boxeador. Y nada, yo espero que el sábado por la noche dar un buen, un buen teatro, un buen, una buena pelea eh, entre dos guerreros encima de ring. Very happy to be on this fight card, especially Manny Pacquiao. Of course, he's my idol. I want to thank Fox uh, Sports for having me. Also, Al Heyman. Um, also, my whole team that's behind me. Um, and we know Luis Nettis is a great fighter. So I'm here to give you guys a great show on Saturday. And um, that's what we expect. All right, well, the, the betting odds are in the favor of Manny Pacquiao right now, at this moment. They shifted. Early on, you were the favorite. Keith, I have to know, did you... You said you were going to bet on yourself. Did you, and what did you bet? Oh, you know, we're going uh, for the overall victory, and then we're going for first round knockout, second round knockout, and then uh, lucky number seven round knockout. Uh, at the end of the day, um, as a sport, you know, I'm a, I'm a winner in life, uh, but to bet on myself for the opening rounds, it makes me do what I said earlier, which is swing, 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 you know? I mean, you gotta, you gotta swing uh, to hit a home run, you know? You can't just sit there and pump fake all day. So, I just wanna open up, I like to encourage myself. And you know, in boxing, man, we really don't have a, a knockout bonus, man. You know, if one time Thurman gets a first round knockout, somebody's gotta pay me. So at least the MGM brand can pay me, you know? Uh, you know, it, it's fun, it's playful, but it really, uh, it, it's a little bit a part of my strategy. It, I don't recommend it for every fighter, every fighter's their own, but I like it. Fair enough. Have you ever bet on yourself? No, I didn't. Uh, I had a feeling you were gonna say me. this. <laughs> uh, all right, we're gonna do closing comments. We're running out of time here. Keith, we're gonna send you up to the stage. Why should everyone watch? Man, Final thoughts. Horrible. What's up, everybody? It's an honor to be here at the MGM Grand. I'm truly looking forward to this fight. We've had a terrific, terrific training camp. Uh, it's been a beautiful experience working with Fox uh, in preparation, all the buildup, everything that we've been getting and all the support we've been getting from you guys, the media. Uh, this is just a, a tremendous fight. I think it's one of the best matchups of the year. I think it's the most exciting fight of the summer. And, you know, at the end of the day, look at the rest of the lineup, man. I mean, this is a fight worth watching. These, these fights here, you know, are, are worth the money to buy, to support. Uh, Saturday night is just gonna be one hell of a night. And, you know, I've been saying it over and over again, but don't be surprised if Manny Pacquiao goes night, night. Thank you so much. All right, Manny, we'll give you an opportunity now to, to reply to that and do closing thoughts here at the podium, please. Hello, everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank God for uh, this opportunity again, uh, giving us a good help to be here. Um, this is not an uh, um, accident. There's a, a, a plan. Um, I mean, Especially this uh, coming Saturday, it's going to be an uh, um, exciting fight, once in a lifetime fight, getting more action. Uh, like you said, my opponent said that um, it's going to be more action in the ring. That's why I, I became my opponent, because uh, we believe that we can give a good fight to the fans. That's, uh, that's our first concern, uh, the fans, the, the enjoyment of the fans on Saturday. So uh, I would like to... Uh, I would like to thank um, everyone who support this uh, uh, this uh, once in a lifetime match, uh, especially the Fox Sports uh, in gym. Uh, this is my this is not my first time or third time to uh, fight in the, uh, the team, MGM, but thank you so much MGM for uh, giving us this opportunity, and not only me but all other fighters also. And uh, of course, uh, I want to thank uh, the media press for uh, the job well done uh, because of you guys we uh, we've been known this uh, this fight um, and good promotion for, for all of us uh, for boxing uh, not only for for this fight but uh, in boxing industry uh, all over the world 
and also the fans of boxing. Thank you so much all for being uh, there, uh, always supporting us. And uh, of course, um, what, what, what I can say in, uh, in my training camp, uh, we did a lot. Uh, we did our best in training. Uh, I'm, I think, uh, I believe uh, we are really 100% conditioned physically, mentally, and most of all spiritually. And I'm sure uh, my, my opponent uh, work hard, uh, train hard for uh, for Saturday. So um, I expect that, expecting a good fight, um, like you said, to the toe on Saturday would be good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, it's been it's been a while that um, I, I didn't never experienced like that. So I think this this is it's gonna be it's gonna be exciting uh, the, the way he, he talked to uh, to you guys today. Um, I hope that he will do it in, on Saturday. Uh, and also uh, before I end, uh, you know, um, I want to thank uh, the Filipino fans for being uh, being there, always supporting us. Um, dagang salamat, maraming salamat sa inyong lahat, mga kapabayan ko. Thank you to all of you and of course um, to all the sponsors for this uh, big event. And before I end, I would like to uh, leave this uh, passage of the Bible in Jeremiah 9 again. 9 uh, verse 23, uh, 24, it says, This is what the Lord says, Let not the wise boast about their wisdom or the strong boast about their strength or the rich boast about the riches. But let the one who boast boast about this, that they have the understanding to know me, that I am the Lord who exercises kindness, justice, and righteousness. For in this I delight, declares the Lord. Thank you, everyone. Thank you all for being here. Thank you to the fighters for being here on a busy fight week. Kate, guys, we'll send it back up to you at the desk. I need somebody who's completely independent. That is a legend. He's the biggest bottom feeder of all. I need somebody who's a good guy. Yeah. Why you would develop the whole thing. She writes, she writes, she's another fighter. I do for guys that came on. You can't even enjoy this. I popped for that. Yeah. 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 Seven's good? Yeah, what do you, what do you want me to do? Well, you need to give them a time. the media room. What? So you know we come back to the media room. What time do you want to do this? I have, I have to email them. Down, please. Okay, Down, please. Seven? Whenever you're done eating, just come over to the media room and then we'll go up. Well, I, I got to email them now. Seven? D Down, please. Yeah. Down, please. Tell the front. Yeah, right. that's fine. Well, yeah. yeah. And then we'll go to your room? Or even 6.30. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Say 6.30 yeah. or 7. 6.30 or 7. Birmingham. Birmingham. Darren. Oh, please, please. Oh, my God. Hey, guys. We have to sit down. That was the young cop, which is the old cop. You never watched Harder Trinidad? This is, I treated for six years ago. I was watching Harder Trinidad. Oh, that was, so that was the, one of the first, that was the second fight I ever covered in Vegas. So it's one of the best fights. There's many more fights that I've ever done that I haven't seen before anything I've seen before 2002. I just hit or miss. Did I give you a list of what I'm going to do it?